I just want to point out, this is my cat right here. Are you struggling? Okay, just, just stay there. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's video. If you haven't, go check it out because this is kind of like a series in a way. And today is all about my new home, my new lifestyle, and just some specific things by Autumn. A few things that have been going on um, since moving. It's only been two weeks and I am going to a baseball game tonight. That's why I look so freaking cute but I just wanted to come on here and share a little bit about what God's been doing in my life while I've been moving. After all the drama of the move-in process, I kind of chilled out. I wanted to show you guys some progress in my life after the move and uh, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Girls, it's gonna be okay, isn't it? You okay, baby? This is honestly not a hard goodbye at all. I'm more just dealing with the anxious angst of you know what's to come but leaving this apartment complex and this situation that I've been in I'm excited I'm nervous as I'll get out but I'm going to surrender I'm going to pray a little bit more on this drive and uh, we're going to move in the right direction so I'm excited we'll make sure that they have water yeah, you know just Caramel is loving her backyard. Of course, we've got to install some wire around the bottom because um, there's too many spots where she could escape um, that make me nervous. So, yeah, um, it's gonna be a really busy day today. I was really sick yesterday um, towards the afternoon and it never, my migraine never went away. So I basically just went to bed because there was nothing I could do at that point. I did try to take a bath, so I cleaned out the bath again. Um, that helped a little, but not enough where I could get anything done. So yeah, I didn't get very much done yesterday. So I've got to do everything that I was supposed to do yesterday, today, and then I've got to, I have to start organizing my home. Um, my home is, is chaotic. It's a mess. So today it's got to happen. It has to happen. It looks like we're going to get a poop. Yay. Now, good morning. Today is August 2nd. I got to run into the post office. I got a lot of tasks that I'm doing. So I'm very excited. Me and Caramel are heading to Chick-fil-A. I haven't eaten anything today. I'm really worn out and I've been working really hard. Right, girl? Right. Morning. Morning again. I'm still struggling really bad to get a grip on everything that I have going on. Last night I had my friend come over and we planned some of her um, bachelorette party. We planned about some of her wedding stuff. I'm so tired. I mean, like, I genuinely didn't even want to get up today at all. So, glad that I'm getting a coffee and I'm going to try to start my day off strong. I'm about to be super dramatic right now, but people that know me know I love to serve. 
This is super vulnerable for me because I don't want people to interpret this the wrong way. Also, this has a lot to do with a lack of sleep for the past few months and crashing from summer. So yeah, don't laugh too hard. <laughs> so I'm just tired because I can't say no. People are asking me stuff every day to do stuff for them. And I just want to get my home done. <laughs> like, I don't even have that much crap. I have a little bit and I can't get it done because I keep getting pulled to do other things. I mean, I'm very thankful for the help that people did do. Like people got, helped me move my stuff. People helped me paint, but it's like, it's not that it's not enough. It's just like in comparison to everything else that I have to do, it's just not enough. It's just not, but so I've really been struggling because I'm so tired. <laughs> I just need to get it done and it's not getting done. So yeah, winning. <laughs> Finally got cat food and dog food. And then I got a rope for caramel or leash, I mean, but it's a rope leash. So it's really different than what I'm used to. Also got her a new harness. I got her stomach medicine. Now I'm off to the church. I am leading worship tonight. I am the guy and I look like crap. But you know what, honestly, it's just prayer night and I feel like coming and just doing my best. That's, that's really all I can do. I'm so stressed out. I'm so tired. So I'm just gonna try to get this done and um, you know, have a good attitude about everything because I know that that's the right way to go about it. Even though I am stressed out and I'm tired, um, I just feel like that's the right thing to do. So, yeah.
tell you where burgers come from. So I just fell at the church and I am cracking, I was cracking up. Um, I went through a dock, a deck. Our youth pastor had already fallen through it, but I didn't know. And I was like not looking down and I stepped right through. So my knee hurts really bad. I don't know if you can see the rash on it. Um, it's very swollen right here on the side. And my hands hurt a little bit, but fun times. Fun times. Mm -mm -mm. Worship went phenomenal. I was super excited about it. Um, just very thankful that God does what only he can do in our situation when you're exhausted and you're tired and you have nothing left. He shows up and he's faithful, so... Loved it. Now, cleaning out my car. My cute little buddy. So sweet. I gotta say, I'm feeling much better now. I woke up, I had my morning time, and I really um, did good. Now, one thing that happened was I ended up going back to sleep, and I don't remember doing that, but I remember getting up, going to the bathroom, and turning off my alarm, and I guess I went right back to sleep, like kind of maybe sleepwalking, um, because I don't remember getting back in bed and going back to sleep, but it happened, it definitely happened. Of course, I had to get my coffee. Focusing on unpacking and getting my home done. Um, that was taking a huge stress on me, and I was just feeling exhausted and overwhelmed, and to not see any real progress, you know, it's so slow. Having the right mindset and realizing that it's not about getting the home done in two or three days. So last night I spent maybe an hour just really understanding where I was feeling like I was behind, um, trying to get better organized with my schedule and everything like that. So it was really good. done with worship practice and I gotta say I'm truly exhausted mentally I'm fried my body is hurting I'm tired and we didn't actually have a practice we had a meeting and the meeting went really well it was a very thorough meeting anyways bye Can I get a large uh, ice signature latte cake batter with no toppings? Well, that's for you. That's it. You can go ahead and pull around. Thank you. This is so sad, but poor Caramel hurt her foot. She cut it on a piece of glass in my backyard, and it just makes me really sad. I had to clean it out, and then I had to wrap her up, and she was just so sweet the whole time. She didn't even act like she was in pain, but it was just really scary. Good morning everyone. I am finally awake enough to actually say words. Um, it's about nine o'clock and a little before nine. And me and Caramel have just had a long morning. Um, poor thing cut her foot. And so I've had to bandage her twice as you saw. But anyways, as you saw in last week's video, I am moved. I had a busy summer. That's my pool pump. It's being crazy right now, but it has just been an absolutely phenomenal summer. I had more on me than I've ever had in my entire life. And it was overwhelming for sure. And in that process, I really lost track of some things that we all do. I don't know if it's just because fall is around the corner and everybody gets this way around the school season or whatever, but 
I am ready to kind of get back going with my schedule, with my finances and everything like that. So it's insane because life has a way of pulling you in multiple different directions. But today we are getting back on track. We need a glow up majorly. Summer has taken its beating on me. So I'm ready to feel good again, to look good. I'm gonna relax in my pool a little bit today. It's gonna be busy. We're gonna get a lot done and we're gonna be proactive and um, plans for the next week but for today we're just gonna have a good day and, and have fun so tag along for the journey and stay tuned because we're gonna have a lot of fun together I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little bit all over the place, but there's been so much to unpack and go on in my life. So I just wanted to break it down a little bit and just, I guess, kind of just share because I think one thing that the church really needs to do more of is be transparent, be real about where you're struggling with. And that's what last week's video really was. This week's video, it was just all about kind of bouncing back and getting back up and really walking in a new level of just freedom, especially having a new home and not being in the same toxic, toxic environment that I was in last, literally last month. I'm just really happy. I, I really am. I, I'm loving it here. And most importantly, Caramel is loving it here. So, and I'm planning a housewarming party with me and my roomie because we need a lot of stuff. We are desperate for stuff. Um, <laughs> so we're planning that and we're gonna send out invites soon. But anyways, so I'm excited. It's gonna be chef's kiss. It's gonna be so good. I hope you guys will stay tuned for next week. I'm excited for next week's video. You don't wanna miss out. It's gonna be a devotional. So definitely hit that subscribe button and get the notifications for every time I post. I post every week. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.